Woods running left, has a crease, he's at the 10 to the 5, Storm Woods, Storm through! Touchdown Beavers for the lead in Provo from the right hash. Ron Ward, a big seam, Ward breaks the tackle, 25-20, 15-10-5, touchdown Beavers! All year long I've been saying I like, I like the group of guys that I have because at any given moment any one of those guys can step in and help us win. Turn and give to Wood. Storm runs to his right through a big lane and in. It's Ward the handoff to War, uh, Teron spins his way. Second effort, first down a lot more, still on his feet. Ward dancing inside the 20, 15 to the 10 to the 5. Ward is in. The greatest run of Ward's career. We don't care about stats, playing time, you know, we're pulling for each other. Every time Teron breaks a big run, I'm up there screaming, hugging him. Malcolm breaks a big run, gets a touchdown, just hugging him up. It's a brotherhood. We don't care about individual things. It's about the team, and we know whatever best for the team, Coach Riley and Coach Brasfield will do. Woods has two touchdowns. Will he get a third? He's looking for it, running to the right. Woods lowers the shoulder, drives and digs, and is in! Touchdown, Beavers! Storm Woods for the third time! My first season, it was electrifying. You know, I, I loved running out there, seeing the crowd support us. I just felt alive being able to contribute to my team this year, and just feels good to put on the Oregon State jersey. Turn and give to Woods. Woods runs to the left, has a big crease, and Woods is in! Touchdown, Beavers! I don't think I was ready at all last year, uh, mentally or physically. Um, I gained weight, I got in the film room, I learned the playbook, and therefore I set myself up to be successful in the spring, which I did, and I came in the fall camp fighting and competing, and came away with the starting job, and that felt pretty good. Vaz under center on second down and three from the seven. Turn and give to Ward. Ward has the first down and more, and Teron Ward with a seam and in. Last half of the season, I think uh, when Storm got hurt, the Arizona State game, I got my opportunity to play. Uh, I took a full advantage of the opportunity. He's a pretty strong kid. You know, in the weight room, he has some pretty good numbers and he's got some good power in his legs, lower body. And, uh, you know, his center of gravity is pretty low because he's not the tallest guy, but he runs hard, he runs big, and uh, he's got pretty good foot speed when he hits the hole. Because they can both do both things, they can run, they can catch, uh, you know, you can't just say they can do only one thing. So I think the ability to be a complete running back uh, helps us scheme-wise, so you can't just target one aspect of what we're doing. Playing in Texas is going to be special. It's going to give my family members who've never got, witnessed me playing in person the opportunity to play, and it's also going to give those Texas fans in my family a chance to see me play against their favorite team. Going against Alex Okafor is going to be something special. You know, he's a special guy. He's projected first-rounder. Um, it's going to be tough, but it's going to be fun at the same time. I'm just looking to execute everything. And um, he's not my friend for the next three weeks. After the bowl game, we could be best friends. I have a lot to work on, and I had a decent year this year. I'm looking to just hit it hard, you know, with weight and film and everything else. I'm just looking to have an even bigger year next year. I want to get faster, get stronger, but stay the same weight. Um, just put a little strength on and have a better, uh, better grasp of the playbook. You can always keep learning in this, in this game. So as much as I can learn and everything get better, I think that's going to be big time.